Yay, I'm free. Made it out of Walmart. I got free water. And I used their bathroom too. I don't even know if I flushed. It's just a urinal. All right, so why am I at Walmart? I mean, I wanna say for those of you who uh, knew that I was at Walmart just by looking at the water fountain, you've been in Walmart too much. I, uh, I unfortunately have probably spent $80 of my life in my life on Walmart goods and services um, But it does represent a lot of the destruction of local economies and local resilience Resiliency that allows corporations such as Walmart such as big developers such as pipelines to come in and cause problems um, So there's twofold reason why I'm at this Walmart um, I'm in Lenoka, I believe which might be a subset of Lacey Township or it's the next town over. That's the closest I'm going to get to... Um, I'm going to keep walking because I can't keep making these videos without moving. Got a lot of walking to do today. Um, so, before I get sidetracked, it's hard to talk to yourself when there are people around. Um, so, like I said, it's twofold reason, twofold reason why I'm doing it here at a Walmart or why I'm starting here. One is just um, to point out the developers, how they're able to destroy local economies uh, because people start using foreign materials. And foreign could be somewhere even in the country that isn't here. So, um, including homes that are built from far away but um before i lose my train of thought all right so let's say bye to walmart bye walmart i won't do a middle finger i just don't have it in me and anyways i'm carrying the water now um so i, I titled this video gary quinn friends or foe of the Pinelands, and I'm sure you probably know before even thinking about the question, which he is, if you've been doing your thinking. Um, he's on the Pinelands Commission, and as far as I understand, even though he's from Ocean Township, he's not their appointee, he's maybe one of the governor appointees, and he's got huge conflicts of interest. Um, he's, for one, he's on the Lacey Council, which could potentially be a conflict of interest between that and being in the Pinelands Commission simultaneously because if Lacey's uh, concerns conflict with the, the Pinelands concerns, say the town wants to build something but the Pinelands doesn't, um, that's itself a conflict. But more so than that is his background, his private background of how he makes his money. And that is, some guy's yelling something. Um, oh, Lenoka. So, uh, He's a builder, developer, um, I just made a bunch of videos on, they might even be his, I don't know, part of his companies, but uh, as laymenting suburban sprawl and how it's spreading throughout Ocean County and New Jersey in general, but Ocean County being the fastest developing county is at the forefront of suburban sprawl. So it's not a positive thing, it's not something I'd be proud of if I was an Ocean County resident. Um, and currently I am for the next few days as I walk through. But uh, Gary Quinn, um, yeah, if you end up watching this, uh, I think you should resign. And I think if you don't, before the vote, the big vote that's coming up on the pipeline, the SRL pipeline on September 8th, I think that vote should be voided until, or you should have to abstain at the very least, because you represent, you almost uh, sink the ship of that um, having legitimacy. Now, of course, Nobody's gonna call that out unless um, people with more power than me, I'm just suggesting the idea. Um, but I think the other Pinelands commissioners should call out and say, uh, Gary Quinn, uh, abstain from this vote and please resign. I think they have a lot of power and some of them are actually um, voting no, but I think they have to do more than just vote no to a pipeline. I'm doing this based on how they voted on the South Jersey gas pipeline. Five people voted no and one abstained. Um, 
I think if they're planning on voting no, they also have to have uh, some, some words behind it, maybe some press, some media to show and try and challenge the pilot, the very makeup of the Pilots Commission, because it's obvious that Christie uh, created um, not a kangaroo court, but the equivalent where a bunch of straw men and women that will vote his way. Um, so anyways, it's not in the interest of the Pinelands to have Gary Quinn on there. So as far as I'm concerned, you can think that he's good for the Pinelands. He might be good for the immediate short term of the economy, but all that will go away because we don't have a sustainable economy anyway. And it's just the speed, the rapidity at which we reach a brick wall and um, Gary Quinn's speeding up that process so it'll be a much harder hit to our overall economy the quicker we don't become sustainable. Um, so once again, Gary Quinn, uh, I can't change what he does in his private life, but he is a public official uh, for the Pinelands and I think he should not be there anymore. So that's, uh, that's my opinion. Um, I'm doing this walk. I'm not just talking the talk, I'm trying to go through various places that are ecologically threatened and document them and, and observe them because things are going to change uh, and unfortunately things keep getting more and more like this more and more parking lot let me flip the video around of course you all know what a parking lot looks like but um, and one other thing I don't know how much power Gary Quinn has and how much he would ally himself and there, he has allies of people who would like to take people like me out off of the picture but if you have any kind of fear of that for me um, I'm certainly wary of it but I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing I see it as a larger battle that I'm fighting and myself I'm just one but if you would like to um, come walk with me and be a witness to what I'm doing and join me, not just a witness, uh, I welcome that. I welcome anybody who wants to walk with me. Um, I think I don't think it's unreasonable for me to fear a little bit for my life, uh, just like other people protesting pipelines and calling specific people out on their legitimacy to be a political leader. Um, people historically die for these sorts of things. So. I haven't done anything necessarily that warrants that yet, but um, please uh, just be aware that um, I'm doing this and I'm, I've been very careful. So if I am hit by a car, please question what was the real reason. Um, all right, that's all kind of an ominous way to end, but that's where, where the world we're at right now. So, all right, there's Walmart again, if you wanna say goodbye again. I wanna read what BB said the garden state would have to change its state flower from plastic to something sludgier. <laughs> yes, well, unfortunately, that's the direction we've been going in for a long time. Um, so next video is Oyster Creek, which I don't know if I'll get to see it. If I can't see it, I don't know if I'll make the video. Um, I've been idle too long. I need to keep moving. All right, bye.